so it is it is daytime we've got a few places in the city we'll just have a look around so let's go to the black emporium first because i know that's just a quick thing not anything really that important but we'll have a look to see what is there in fact i don't think you'll get even anything to talk to Okay, he's creepy. Hello. Don't manhandle the urchin. He's not for sale. Okay. 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 What are you? All right, Xenon the Antiquarian. You received the invitation? Then you are fortunate indeed. Xenon is no ordinary man, as you will discover for yourself when you enter the Black Emporium. The item you'll see resting in the chair is not one of the displays. Rather, it is the proprietor. It may speak to you that Xenon using the mystical bauble that has allowed him to communicate since he has lost the power of speech. The story tells that Xenon was a Kirkwell nobleman in the Age of Steel, almost 300 years ago. Obsessed with the pursuit of eternal life, he made a deal with a powerful witch. Some say it was the legendary Intiven Witch of the Ways, and his wish was granted. He obtained eternal life but not eternal youth. His body became decrepit, and he used his vast wealth to seek out ways to preserve it. Some were magical, many were dangerous, and almost all of them were unsuccessful. What remains is an immobile mass of twisted flesh, and I think Xenon's mind has slowly decayed along with his body. He hid away in the Undercity, and has slowly amassed a collection that's sure to amaze. If he invited you, he thinks you have the coin he needs to further his search for a cure. Just don't think of stealing anything. The goblin is not for show. I'm sorry, the golem is not for show. Although you're free to look around the shop, I wouldn't suggest staying over long. You might be present for one of the baths his servant gives him hourly to keep his flesh from becoming completely desiccated. Trust me, you don't want that. From a letter of unknown origin, 849 Bluff. Okay. The box of screaming? What do you have here? What is all this? That golem's name is Thaddeus Giganus Crumbum the Third. Crumbum? <laughs> I can see why. That is an awesome name to have. Crumbum. <laughs> and dress stay in the nude repose, invisible. Can stone lie with purpose? Can it become, can it become with raw feminine command, yet shine with an inspiring virtue? Uh, okay, no, I, I, I'm not all... Don't fondle and trust, eh? Well, as soon as you ask very nicely. This card. So many things to admire. I tire of those plebeian items. Take what you like. No charge. Really? That's nice of you. Thank you. No charge, Thaddeus. You hear me? Yeah, we didn't steal the items. We were given them, okay? Was that box the one that was screaming? 
the box of screaming. I received the box from a man I met in the silent plains. He spoke little and would not reveal his name. For reasons I shall not detail here, I had been kidnapped and left for dead in that grey, wind-blasted wasteland. After days of walking, I, have, I was parched and close to death. I was about to dash my head on a rock to speed my passing when the man arrived. He possessed a water skin containing ample water for a person travelling from our location to the Imperial Highway. From there, he said, I could find my way to Solus or Perivantium. He offered to give me the water skin if I agreed to take three things from him, a glowing crystalline shard, a bronze sphere and an iron bound box with no hinges. I asked the man if he wished to have these items delivered. He said that he merely wanted me to have them. It was an odd request, but I was too weak and too desperate to think much of it, and so I agreed. The man put the items into a leather sack, which he handed to me along with the water. What about you? I asked. He said nothing, only pointed in the direction from which I had came. There is nothing that way, I said. He merely smiled at me. I found the Imperial Highway a day later, and a caravan driver agreed to take me to Perivantium in exchange for the large glowing shard. In Perivantium, I bought with the bronze sphere for new clothes and room at the inn. That night, I examined the iron-bound box and found no way to open it. I held it to my ear, and I thought I heard slow, measured breathing coming from within. My mind was afire with curiosity, and I obtained from the innkeeper a large hammer. I think to smash the thing open. The moment the hammer touched the, bo the box, it shrieked. The shrill sound pierced the depths of my soul. I gave the box to the innkeeper in the morning and felt better for having rid myself of it. A, tore, a page torn from a mysterious journal on display in the Black Imperium. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, so we can buy some good stuff later, probably. I don't think we have quite. We we need. Was it fifty gold? And I just realised we are halfway there, so that's good. Are we? Was it fifty? Oh yeah, I forgot that we have to. I also forgot we wanted to break into the uh, the family estate. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh, and we need to talk to Meryl and Fenris, even though Fenris is right here and we could talk to him right now. Okay, so fifty sovereign, and we need to talk to, I believe, the 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 the, the Grey Warden. Oh. What were you saying, love? Enchanted goods for the prizes of my collection. Okay. Very nice. I'm just looking today. I'll take the free stuff, but anything else is a bit like... I shouldn't have taken the free stuff because I am, like, nearly out of it as well. Nearly out of space. Stare into the mirror of transformation. Oh, no, 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 no. Confirm. <laughs> I nearly reset then. Creepy. We need to leave immediately, okay? And never come back. Well, we'll head to Dark Town now. And then we'll probably go to the Wounded Coast. Okay. Um, there's not really much here, is there? But there is a quest over here. I thought all dwarves had beards. Where's yours? I misplaced it, along with my sense of dwarven pride and my gold-plated noble cast bin. I thought maybe it fell onto your chest. Oh, the 
Rudy Elf tells a joke. I don't brood. Friend, if your brooding were any more impressive, women would swoon as you passed. They got broody babies in your honor. You're a very odd dwarf. And you thought I was joking about the pit. Oh, you boys. I love you both. Hi, Tom Wise. How you doing? Tom Wise? Huh? Oh, Hawk. Haven't seen you since we did that job together for Athena. Been a while. I guess. Man, I've never technically met. Expedition into the deep roads. And right into Darkspawn territory. Sure that's wise? I can handle myself. I fought Darkspawn before. Just watch your back. That's all I'm saying. Say, you still in the market for some poisons? A thin rule's scarce these days. And the coterie have their own mixers. I mean, poisons. If you find any rare reagents and want me to whip you up something, just let me know. In fact, since you're an old friend, here's a recipe. Oh, a thank you. Everyone needs an edge sometimes, right? Yeah. Makes sense. So what? what is this? Do I even have a thingy? Nope, that's not it. Is it just looking at it and stuff? Maybe? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, excuse me, guys. Aren't we lucky? Did I really just miss it? There we go. Excuse you! What a bold woman! Who sees, who sees somebody like just butcher like a, a load of people and then just be like, you don't like this place? Then fucking die! But I'm gonna just uh, keep exploring this area. And hope that one of my. Uh... Excuse me. And just really hope that uh, it doesn't. I can't speak at the moment. That one of the quests up there that I'm ignoring aren't me meaning for me to come down here. That's what I'm trying to say. Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? Ooh, there's death root down there. Let's go get some. Oh, oh. You know, for being called Dark Town, you've still got a bit of light around here. You've got the fresh air, so that's nice. I saw a spawn once. It looked like Uncle. Okay. Good for you. Why have we got guards around here? Hello. Hello, Danzig. What are you guys up to? Mind your manners. This is my territory. Okay, Sister Plinth's remains. That's not nice. The remains of Sister Plinth. The remains of a miss missionary sister who sought to bring the Chant of Light to the dark places of Kirkwall. The Chantry archivists are always looking to catalogue their lost on the memorial wall. Okay. And I guess I'll see you later, named character, that I am sure I'll get in a fight with. But we will head back, and then we'll head to the right. Hello, guys. Dregs of humanity down with its waste. Fitting. Could you speak a little louder? I don't think uh, the entire area heard you. Yeah, Fenris. Just, you know, be good. Why is it... Oh, it's not a bed. I thought it was a bed and I was like, why is it just in that, like, position? Oh, Brother Jenny TV. I always like seeing his name. I'm like, yes, my man. What are you guys doing with the Binter Imperium book?
Solus, is that you? No, sorry. <laughs> is that where he is in the previous games? Just there? No. Okay, so that's the ML state. So we will come here and. Ooh, door one or door two. I guess we're going to door one. All these mages just using magic just willy nilly in plain view of everybody. And hey, it's Anders! <laughs> Which I did already know about, but try. Whoa. How low cut do your dress have to be? I like Candace. He was so nice in the uh, previous DLC. I have made this place a sanctum of healing and salvation. The fuck are you Why talking you about? <laughs> Dude. I'm just here to talk. We're interested in getting into the deep roads. Rumor has it you were a warden. Do you know a way? Did the warden send you to bring me back? Do you not listen? Those bastards made me get rid of my cat. Oh no, not sir. A lot. He hated the deep Why? Road. Why did they make you get rid of your cat? What happened to our Elodie? She gave you the cat. Sir Pouncelot. You had a cat named Sir Pouncelot in the deep roads. He was a gift, a noble beast. Almost got ripped in half by a Genlock once. He swatted the bugger on the nose. Okay, okay. Drew blood too. Maybe you shouldn't have brought. The warden said he made me too soft. I had to give him to a friend in Amaranthine. I kind of understand that. Like, why are you bringing it down to the deep roads? Uh, can people even leave the wardens? I've always heard that joining the wardens is for life. That's only partly true. The hopelessly tainted by the darkspawn and plagued by nightmares about the archdemon parts don't go away. But it turns out if you hide well. You don't have to wear the uniform or go to the parties. Alright, so what are you doing here? So you came to Kirkwall just to escape the Wardens? You say that like it's a small thing. Yes, I'm here because there's no Warden outpost, no Darkspawn, and a whole host of refugees to blend in with. You're not doing That's much blending. Alright, well, um... I would really like you to tell me. I am willing to give you coin for that information, but it will not be my first response because obviously I need the coin to go on the expedition, so I would like your help, my good man. I'm part of an expedition into the Deep Roads. Any information you have could save people's lives. I will die a happy man if I never think You don't have to go there. Again. You don't have to come with you us. Imagine what I've come through to get here. I'm not interested in... Although... A favor for a favor. Does that sound like a fair deal? You help me, I'll help you. Uh, what's the favor? Let's be more specific. I don't do anything involving children or animals. Not that I think he'd do that I sort have of stuff. A warden map of the depths in this area. Yeah, what is the price? I came to Kirkwall to aid a friend, a mage, a prisoner in the wretched gallows. The Templars learned of my plans to free him. Help me bring him safely past them, and you shall have your maps. Okay, who's this mage? Tell me about your friend. His name is Carl Fekler. He was sent here from Ferelden when Kirkwall Circle required new talent. His last letter said the Knight Commander was turning the Circle into a prison. Aren't all Circle Mages prisons? In their cell, refused appearances at court, made tranquil for the slightest crimes. I told him I would come. The circle of prison? Why are you so shocked? And so what's your plan on getting him out? How do you plan to break him out of the gallows? I'm hoping it won't come to that. I sent Carl a message to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Make her willing, he'll be there, alone. And what if he can't? The Templars with him. I swear I'll free him from them, whatever the cost. Okay, okay, okay. How did the Templars find out about it? What do the Templars know of your plans? I don't know. I had been exchanging notes with Carl through a maidservant in the gallows. Then the letters stopped coming. Right. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'll help. You convince me. 
What's your plan? I welcome your aid. I have You've already, already said that. Carl to meet me in the Chantry tonight. Join us there, and we'll ensure that no matter who is with him, we all walk okay. away free. Okay. Um, I don't know who I'm bringing with me for that though. We'll find out later. So let us do that and is there anything else here? I don't think so. So let's let's deal Can back. The cellar door? Yes. Let's go in and see why Gamlin lied. Yeah, did he lie or do we just think he did? That's a question. Cause it could go either way for me, I feel. History of Kirkwall, Chapter 1. Sorry, I'm just too busy reading the book. Uh, if you don't mind waiting. Thank you, I really appreciate that. A slave guard? What? Who got this place? That's not nice. Stab him in the back. It's not good. Okay, let's head up this way, or not up this way, round this way. Just, uh... Let me just... Yeah, and after I definitely need to, uh... Maybe see about, uh... Leaving some of the stuff at home. <laughs> Who here wants to... Hello? It's nice to meet you. I'm glad no, not everybody attacked on site. Oh, okay. You had a thought and then decided to do it anyway, did you? Hey, come over. Come back. It's been puppy dog in. It's, it's Daffodil's home too, you know? What's in in this one? It's another trap door. How many trap doors do we really need? Oh, look. The interior, the ML family, I should say. Portrait of the past. Bethany might be interested in the old portrait of her mother. Speak with her about it back at Gamlin's house. Why can't we just do it now? The Amel family. It's truly sad what happened to the Amels, isn't it? I still remember Grandmother talking about the balls that La Lord Aris died used to hold in their estate and the Antivan violin players and dancing f dancers from Alstana. Afsana. No expense was spared and no one would dare to miss it. Lest someone think they weren't worthy of an invitation. And then poor Revka had the child. Magical talents running in one of Kirkwall's most prominent families. The Templars had considered Lord Aristide to be Viscount after Thernhold's arrest. Can you imagine the scandal had he been chosen? They whisked the child away to the circle, and the Amal simply had no luck after that. Leandra ran off with a Ferelden mage, and then Damien was accused of smuggling. Poor Lord Faustin was almost bankrupt his family trying to get the charges dropped, but I hear Fal Viscount Marlowe simply wanted the Amels out of the picture, and it worked too, didn't it? By the time Lord Faustin got sick, there was only one, there was only young Gamlin left and a mountain of death. I spoke to Dulcie just the other day, and apparently Gamlin is now living in some low-town shack. Sounds like the sort of character you'd cross the street to avoid. And let's not even talk about the estate. Mother says we should remember the Amels because that sort of thing could happen to any of us. You know the old saying, a march's fortune rises and falls with the tide? If you ask me, this is just another misfortune that magic brings to honest folk. And dress they help that poor family, whatever lies in store with them. Well, that's rude. Mother Very rude. It. This is the first time I've seen it. Wouldn't it feel like something to live in a house with this above the door? I guess. 
It's all right. Hey, fellas. Watch your step. Let's actually, uh, did I do it? I think so. Let's get this one. This one die. Oh, oh, angry boy. Why did I call you a boy? I always call you boys, but you know. Oh, it's just daffodil. I was like, what is that? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. God damn it. Every time, every time, I always hit the speed one. Uh, yep, go away, I didn't mean to do you. Please go away. Please, I don't want to be a black silhouette. Thank you. History of Kirkwood, Chapter 2. Very nice, very good, very good, sir. Combat. What are they trying to do? Ruin my boots. Okay. That's a lot of traps. Hopefully they all pop. That's dude. Get some of these while he's uh, paralyzed. Where'd he go? Where'd you go, love? Oh, Bethany, are you okay? You will not attack. You will not fight. Master slave, that lovely. The vault's key and the imperial blood helm. Fancy. All set. No, no, <laughs> not again. Oh, we've got a lot of shit here. Okay, I'll give you the ring, and I'll give you the ring. Do we have any other rings? No, but we've got a thing for amulets. What would be good for you? Uh, let's give you the plus three physical. Enjoy yourself. Ooh, you don't have a belt. Have a string of pearls. <laughs> and you can also get um, plus three physical damage as well. And you also need a thingy so you can have plus seven mana. Enjoy. Let's uh, take them. <laughs> I'm just laughing at the string of pearls. I really like that idea. Just imagining him with like the pearls around his uh, belt. Instead of a belt, I should say. Everything we want to know about our family is inside. Well, Bethany got plus 15 just for getting to the door. There's nothing, and there's no way to go that way, so we'll have a look this way. Okay, so. Uh, nothing else, just that. So we've got protective sigils, and we've got nine gold. Hell yeah. This is it. Grandfather's will. Mother needs to see this as soon as possible. Uh, we should probably read it before she gets a chance to. But let's go. We'll take it to her right now. Okay. So I'm just saying, blood's blood and all, but you are taking advantage of my hospitality. A puppy just like spawned in. It's only fair if you make something of a... 
monthly contribution. You sold my children into servitude. Now you're asking me to pay rent? No, uh, maybe just put something towards food. I mean... We found the will. I kind of agree with him. He forgave you, Mother. Grandfather left you everything. Ah. Here, read it. What a fucking asshole. Uh, uh, I should maybe... To my daughter, Leandra, and all children born of her, the estate in Hightown Aww. and all associated revenues. I just... I didn't actually remember what happened. I was like, either they forgave her or they didn't, and I'm so happy that they did. But maybe it's less of forgiving her and more of uh, my son Gamlin is a fucked up little shit and he's not getting a cent off of me. Or a uh, silver off of me. Uh, okay. So the estate's ours, but he sort of sold it? I don't know. We have a home, Mother. A real home. They forgave me. Mother forgave me. But, Gamlin, how could you? You're the one who ran away, Leandra. What happened to love is so much more important than money. It is. You didn't even come home for the funeral. The twins were a week old. We all have our burdens. Mine was looking after a life you abandoned. How long was I supposed to wait? Did you wait? Did you wait one minute? I doubt you let the ashes get cold. I took care of father. I stayed. And on his deathbed, all he could talk about was Leandra. Look, sister, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done it, but I did. And there's nothing I can do to get it back. I don't expect that, Gamlin. It's enough to know mother and father didn't die angry. I'll petition the Viscount for rights to reclaim the estate. Make a willing. You'll have your house back within weeks. You don't have the coin or standing to even get an audience with the Viscount. You've got to be someone in this city to live in that house again. Then I had better get started. Dude. Dude, you are wronging, you know that? Such a wronging. Why have I got more stuff in here? Okay, Bethany, hey, how you doing? Why don't you go pick up something at the market? You could use some air. What? Hey! Just kick him out. <laughs> I can't believe Gamlin stole Mother's God, what's wrong with your hands? I mean, I can believe it. That's the worst part. I could never turn against my own sister like that. Ah. Oh. Don't compare yourself to him. You're a better person than Gamlin could ever be. Well, hopefully we'll be out of here soon. You know, when we went to look for that will, I thought we were doing it for Mother, for what she lost. I didn't realize how much it would mean to me to know I had grandparents who didn't hate me. <laughs> Means nothing to me. No, I know how you feel. I wish they had lived long enough to see us come home. Home. That's what it is, isn't it? I like saying that. We're not running away again. We're coming home. He sounds sad. Are you unhappy here? I wish I could do more for Mother. Carver's dead. It's killing her slowly every day. But maybe if we can reclaim some of what she lost, it will help. I'd do anything to get us back a normal life. Why avoid the circle? No. Would... What would Carver have said, do you think? What do you think Carver would have made of all this? He would have hated this place. All the sneering nobles. He'd have gotten himself arrested the first day. And he would have wanted in on your Deep Rose expedition. Anything to make a name for himself. Do you Sometimes want... Sometimes I still can't believe he's gone. Do you want to uh, to come on the expedition? I've not really asked you. What would it have been like? Can you imagine if we'd grown up here? Been nobility. Had grandparents who bought us leisure and silk dresses with lace petticoats. Father was a good man. 
Her mother gave up so much for him. Of course, if she hadn't worked up the nerve to elope, she probably wouldn't have been able to resist the Templars either. If we'd been born here, you'd be nothing more to me than a name the Circle kept in my file. Aww. We're home, okay? Nothing's ever gonna happen to us, ever. We're going to make this our home, Bethany. I promise you. I hope so, sister. <laughs> you know, I'm so very tired of running. I know what happens in this game. You go to the deep roads, you find the buried treasure, and then, you know, you live happily ever after and nothing bad happens. Why does Bethany want to talk again? Hi, Bethany. She's a very chatty girl, this sister of mine, isn't she? I found this when we were at the estate. Oh yeah, I forgot. I thought you should have it. Is it? I think this is Mother's betrothal portrait from when she was supposed to marry the Comte. Look, we can see the ring. Mhm. <laughs> you seem excited. You like it? I love it. My whole life, Mother's always been so sad and worried, all because of my cursed magic. I always wish there was some way to take that burden off her. It's nice to have a reminder of a time when she still knew how to smile. Oh. Gift giver, yes, I gave the gift. Okay, what's in here that's talking? Oh, are these the uh, thingamajigs? They are, yes, yes, I remember, I remember. I'd not completely forgotten, okay? I don't want to stash my junk. I just want to move everything over. Ugh, which one is which? Okay, there we go. We'll deal with all that later. At the moment, we've got stuff to do on the sunken coast. Although, no. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. We'll take you guys. I wanted to do something. What was it? Oh, have we got a thing? Looks like we've got a message on the writing desk. Let's have a look. The bone pit. <laughs> the bone pit. Okay, that sounds cool. Hawk, I've got a lead for you. A merchant I acquired goods for told me that workers have gone missing from his bone pit mining operation. You mentioned that the missing miners were Felden, which made me think of you. If you're interested, go hit up Herbert in the High Town Market. A Fenwolf. Thanks. The Boom Pit. <laughs> okay, let's actually um, take these guys. But we are going to Low Town first to talk to Meryl, and then we'll head to High Town. And then we might go to the Wounded Coast. I don't know. Okay, where is where I want to go? We're just right by the alien elf. You ever miss Tavinta? I was a slave. Still, it was your home, right? The only one you remember. Does it ever feel strange not to be there? Sometimes. That does not mean I would go back. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. This way round. Let's talk to Meryl in her home. Meryl, knock knock, knock knock. Mana and the use of magic. Cool. I'm just gonna have a look around your home. Don't mind me. How come Mel has been here for about two days and she has a fucking house while the, 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 the four of us have a goddamn room, huh? This is so much nice. Well, it's vaguely nice, so this bit is horrible. You need to fix the, uh, the floor, okay? Okay. Hey, Mel, how's it going? I didn't think you'd come. I'll find something relatively clean for you to sit on. 
Thank you. I appreciate that. Can I get you something to eat or drink? I have water. Not even on the dare. Relax, okay? I came here to see you now. You don't have to fuss over me. You're so kind. My first guest and I'm already a terrible host. I wanted to thank you for bringing me here, but I'm making a mess of it. Did you really? No, you're welcome. I'm glad you're settling in. I'm glad I could help. I can't say that I like Kirkwall, but I'm glad to be here. I haven't exactly had many friends. Not even among my own clan. This is... tricky. Why didn't you have friends? What made you unpopular with the Dalish? Being first to the Keeper, I was always a bit secluded. I studied magic and history while the others were learning the Via Tanadai. It's good that I left. I'd have made a terrible Keeper. I was never that good with people. Ah, oh, well, you know, you'll make friends. It won't take long before you're the most popular girl in the Alienate. Miss all I hope not. I'd manage to say something stupid in front of everyone and embarrass myself. Thank you for coming to visit me, Hawk. It means a lot to me. You are welcome. It is nice to, to see you again, Meryl. Excuse me, let me just get around that bit. Okay, it's nice to meet her, nice to talk. And yes, hi town. Let's talk to the dude. And then Fenris. Hubert, we need to talk. You've been an apostate your whole life then. Like my father before me. What of him? Didn't your family consider that dangerous? There are mages who go their whole lives without ever falling prey to a demon. Many of them, in fact. And if the Templars came looking for you, that would not be danger enough. Perhaps there shouldn't be any Templars. No, I feel like there should be Templars. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, Hulk probably doesn't, but me who's played as um, Sylvie and Elodie, there's probably supposed to be, you know, Templars. Here you're having problems with the bone pit. The I bone know. bits! Ah, finally someone comes to help me. You look a bit unseasoned, but I hope you'll do. I had to suspend operations. My workers are lost in the mines or have run off. Serves me right for hiring Pharrell the refugees. I sent others before, but no word. Perhaps they are putting me off. I need someone competent to figure out what is going on. Yeah, it's <laughs> Bone Pit a tad ominous. Your first mistake was naming your mine the Bone Pit. The locals named the mine. Those fools say it's cursed. That is why I hire Ferelden. It may be dull with not superstitious. Uh-huh, and what happened to the workers? Surely the miners had good reason to leave. I am at a loss. No miner has reported in, and no one takes me seriously. No one will go? The bone pit must be dangerous if the people bone are afraid pit. to venture there. No, nothing like that. Pay no heed to local superstition. The bone pit is mostly harmless. <sighs> what are you paying? What's the reward? I will pay handsomely. The exact amount depends on what perils we face. Fine, that's all I... well, that's not all I need to know. I would like to know how much I'm getting paid. I'll head there soon. Like, what is the mi the minimum the amount that I'm Each being paid? Each mine is not running costs me more than those miners make in a year. The bone pit is just outside the city. Any map will show it. And I would consider it's saying... Day, I'm not a guardsman, I don't give a shit. And I'm going to sell all my junk to you. Enjoy my junk. Maybe you can make it, make good on it. What's that over there? Oh, that's the Chantry. Okay, okay. We've also got another quest over there. So let's have a quick 
wander over. And I should also figure out... Move along. I think, is it over there that Fenris is? I believe so, but, hmm. Vivian will be devastated if I miss that cat. Hello, Magistrate Vanyard. You were there for Elven. I wish to speak with you. I've heard you have dealings with certain elements in the city. You can get things done on the sly, as they say. Okay, and? What of it, old man? I am a magistrate in this city, and I expect to be addressed with respect. Especially from someone who might be working for me soon. A man I sentenced to a life in prison has escaped custody. He's been tracked to an abandoned ruin outside the city. I'd like you to retrieve the fugitive and hand him over mm -hmm. to the guards. And what was his crime? Why is there such a clamor to catch this man? What has he done? He's escaped. That's reason enough to catch him. That's all? No, that sounds too easy. We're not giving him respect. We're both intelligent people. There's something in the ruins, isn't there? There is something, yes. There are creatures in the ruins. The guards I sent are ill-equipped to deal with such beasts. Okay, why not just let him be eaten then? It would be easier to seal up the entrance and let the beasts take care of him. I believe in justice, Ferelden, not unbridled slaughter. I will not let prisoners be eaten just because I don't want to get my hands oh. dirty. You're not getting your hands dirty. You're sending other people to die. So what kind of creatures? Do you know what manner of beasts they are? I don't know what they look like. I've never seen one myself. The guards say these things have already torn through a full company of men. <sighs> Fine. I better get paid a hell of a lot, though. I'll take the job. Bring the fugitive in alive, we'll see. quickly and quietly. We'll Not see what he has to say. Well paid, you'll have the gratitude of a city magistrate. Useful for a refugee, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, but you only helped me on the sly. So, you know. Not truly helpful, are you? Let's go hand in this quest to uh, the sister's remains. Are we like handing the body over or is it like So the magistrate put Lyrian in your skin? So I'm told. Does it hurt? You do not want to know the answer to that. I think that's a resounding yes, it hurts. What a stupid question. Oh, sorry. I didn't see you there. Sister Alina told me I was Okay, so we've got we've got a lady here. Those children, the orphan Ferelvens ran off again after we fed them. I wish they'd let us help them. It'd be better than scraping by on the streets of Dark Town. Okay. Those Kanara are a frightening sort. Demons, the whole lot of them. I do wish the Ferelvens had been more of a Um. Ooh, the maker. Thank you. Okay, that's 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 too big. What the fuck is that and why do you have it? That's just too massive. Look at it. Why do you need such a big thing? I went the wrong way. I'm going past you guys again. Do not make eye contact with me. Parvalon, the occupied north. Hey, um, for the plinth, the archivist. Did you mistake them? Bless my poor spirit, I never thought I'd see that again. Thank you. What the fuck did I give to them? I thought it was like a body or something. And he's there like, oh, I thought I'd never see it again. Did you misplace this? Maybe I misunderstood, but I don't think so. Why don't you just sit down, dude? How was I to know she was Oh dear. I think it's very obvious when you know you have to like open uh, your purse to 
spend some time with her maybe. I don't know. Locks of the Golden Fool. Quest updated. A satirical two tome about the deluded brother of the Chantry who sought peace between elves and humans. A condemnation of fanatics of both races. It is favoured by radical elves choosing to live in Dark Town. So I'm guessing Dark Town is where it needs to be taken to. Okay, so let's go now. Let's leave this place. Spent way too much time, much longer than I'd like to, at the church, at the chantry. Maybe one time I'll actually bring like a an actual person who likes um no I don't want to go there, I want to go back to my town. An actual person who believes in religion. <laughs> Someone who is like religious you know, because you cannot wish the Templars away. I can try. Is the circle here truly so terrible an option? Do you really have to ask that? You would be kept safe from others as well as from yourself. And they would be kept safe from you. I didn't ask for this. Nobody asks for their fate. I think maybe we could make the argument that it wasn't Kirkwall. Like, apparently it's... Keep in mind, those weapons look sharp. Was she talking to you or to me? We'll say both. She was talking to both of us. Okay, so Fenris, I need to talk to you and apparently I can only talk to you at your house. So, yes. Oh, can I just talk to you here? Excellent. Egregio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Daenerys used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said. Which he enjoyed. He sounds like this terrible man. You were his servant as well as his bodyguard. I was his slave. I propped up the furniture when he was so inclined. Doesn't even taste nice. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. So you want revenge is getting back at your master all that matters to you hmm. there are days when it feels that way I've wanted to leave my past behind me but it won't stay there tell me have you never wanted to return to Ferelden um... I, f I feel like she thought about it, but she knows that it won't be like home again. Unless she thinks about Ferelden more like um, when it was easier and her brothers were still alive, so Lothring is gone. I have no home left to return to. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? My family's here. I won't want to leave them. My mother came from Kirkwall. Our heritage Not is... really what I meant. Having a place where you can put down roots. I understand. Still, to have the option must be gratifying. How long has it been since you've escaped? You've been on the run a long time then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means. It never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. You've been alone? Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. Are you sure? What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. That makes that makes a hell of a lot of sense. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. So you're you're staying in Kirkwall then? Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but there is no life for me there. Saharan? 
Is that where you're from? So I've been told. You don't remember. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. So where is you Daenerys now? Your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus. Though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress. Fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. Yeah, you could also make a home here. If you're looking to start a life, you could stay. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. Mm -hmm. I should thank you again for helping me against the hunters. Had I known Ansa would find me a woman so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. Not interested. <laughs> Factor. Maybe I should be thanking Answer. Maybe you should. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. I don't know. I don't know who I'm going for yet, okay? He's very, very nice. But so are others. Others are also very, very nice. I think all of them have like a thing that you might want to go for. Okay, so let's head to the bone pit. <laughs> no, we said we were going to the wounded coast, so we're gonna go to the wounded coast. Oh, excuse me. Oh, do we go left or do we go right? Let's go up. Ooh, spiders, no. Come on, we've got to help these guys. So, some me. Go for the face. Thank you for letting me know that, dude. Wait, I know you. Are you who I think you are? I don't think you are. No, you're not. Of course not. The danger is past. Are you alright? No thanks to this loss. Can't get a decent blade at a bargain anymore. You though, you're what a man needs. A skilled enthusiast. Okay. Get to the offer. Is there a job in this rambling? Name is Javaris Tintop, and I need someone to help me court the Kunari. Court the Kunari? Make her think of the children. <laughs> Those hornheads in Kirkwall have a powder that explodes, and it's just dust. No lyrium, no demons. Anyone can use it. I often look at every second idiot and think he needs more power. True, you've got you've got a point. I also feel very dwarf racist because for a moment I thought it was um Bodan. <laughs> Wasn't. I know that I know that a lot of dwarves are merchants, but not every dwarf are. So uh they offered this to you? I doubt they were eager to sell. That Arashok said I wasn't worthy. That only their outcasts, the Talbashoth, are that mercenary. I said, great, I'll go talk to them. Didn't go uh, well. Dumbass. But made me think. Maybe he'll bargain if I get rid of something that bothers him more than, well, me. The Talvashoth. The Talvashoth. Are you up for some paid hunting? Dwarves don't already have explosives? Your people must have something like that already. Small things shaped to crack faults, not shatter the earth. Plus, they're mostly lyrium. Expensive, poisonous, the Chantry controls it topside, the glow makes you a target. A problem after problem. Okay. But, well, magic already does this, but he can't use magic. Um. If the coin is good. Alright, I'll step in for you. For a price. I'm done bargain hunting, I want it done right. Now, best I could figure, they're up the wounded coast, a whole camp. Take their heads off and meet me at the compound in Kirkwall. Get this right, and we'll be richly rewarded. Richly. Yeah, at the moment, Hawk is completely obsessed with uh, getting enough gold to do what she needs to do. 
and that's probably going to bite you in the butt later on in life, but for now, you only live once, so let's do our best to, you know, live. Ooh, Embrillium. Embrillium, nice. That's a new thing, there's nothing up here. I like how if you go this way, you could just completely miss those guys. And just be like, yep, yeah, see you later. Huh, what's that noise? Nothing. Why is that a thing? Oh, is this not even the Wounded Coast then? Cast Treaties. I assume the Wounded Coast would be uh, longer. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Yes, let's go. Can I go to the Wounded Coast now? Got a lot more th things there. Yeah, it was more like I was expecting. I don't know where I ended up the first time. But okay. Empty quiver. I'll so take... where's your beard, elf? Elves don't grow beards. At all? <laughs> I thought maybe you shaved it off in a fit of broody peak. So you're a funny dwarf. He is a funny dwarf. He's very funny. Do you not find him funny? No, let's go this way. So I can go down to the pile of bones. Pretty exciting, I know. Yeah, it's cool. I wasn't actually looking at it the first time, but now that you've pointed it out. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful sunken coast. Wounded coast. Although there's a uh, thingy there, that's not good. Ooh, okay. You just die, thank you. Oh, ouch. You really beat him up. There we go. We did it, see? We we're perfect. We're great. I like how the one way I've gone has just led to a new, uh, a Dalish assassin. Hello. Uh, hello, guys. What's going on? I was a beast then, a werewolf. I did many terrible things. I, I'm sorry. Sorry does not bring my mother back. I was a victim too, elf, of Zafian's vengeance. Stranger, please calm her down. A werewolf? Did I hear you right? You're a werewolf. I was one, but no longer. Her Dalish keeper cursed some humans with lycanthropy long ago. The disease spread over the years, but the hero of Ferelden freed us. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she did. Yeah, don't do this. Is this what your mother would want? But he murdered her. This man may have a wife, children, suddenly a family. What will they think of you? It's just a circle. Him and you become him. A circle of vengeance. You shame me. My mother would not want this. Leave Shem. Before I change my I like mind. her hair. Why couldn't I have that hair? That is nice hair. And I got 50 silver from that. She was so shamed that she gave me money. Thank you. Ooh, a barrel, huh? So... I don't know where everything is. Didn't that lead to the top again? So we will uh, we'll go a little bit further just to find out. If it leads to a dead end and I have to go all the way back around, then I'll be pissed. Just get one of them, come on. They're dying. They're very weak. So 
and he's just raining arrows down on us, which is impressive because I think it's uh, I think it's Varric and he's just got a uh, a crossbow. Yeah, so that's bleeding that way back, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so let's head back down and head down to wherever this is leading me. So let's go around the corner and round the corner. This one looks like it's leading straight to the uh, the beach. So let's continue down this way. I don't think it is, but it looks like it a little bit. Mm, no, we'll head this way first. See what this way leads. Which one is this, by the way? Oh, this is where Seamus is. Cool. Hey guys. And the world's rid of one more canary. Easier than I expected. Call the men back. We've got an appointment with the Viscount. Isn't that right, Seamus? A shot. You killed him. You. You Vashidan bitch. That one of their words. See, that's why you need to be dragged home. You're playing too nice with those things. I'll wager you've gone even further than that. Haven't you, brat? What's going on? A little rough for a rescue, don't you think? Competition? Well, you're too late. The Winters, uh, I, have already claimed him. Sirrah, if I must go back, so be it. But I will not see these murders. You heard the boy, reward. bitch! Spoiled shit! I'll cut out your tongue. And charge extra for bringing you back quiet. And as for you, I could do with some entertainment while we wait for the others. Okay, who are we gonna focus on? He really zoomed off, didn't he? Yeah, let's go. Pop. And then just hit her very hard. Get some of these guys. Go to sleep for a bit. Guinness, you need to die. Oh, you did die. <laughs> well, that was rude. I wanted to hit, riddance, kill him. But she said she was waiting for more. A lot more. We're not giving you up. Strip the camp, and we'll ready a fitting welcome. Oh. <laughs> Didn't even get a chance, really, did I? Oh, bugger you! Bugger it! Oh, these are all really weak. Oh, Fenris might need a bit of a heal. He's, uh... I can see who the proper leader of these people are, because this guy is like really strong. She was obviously just a face. Oh, Andraste. I've never seen so many corpses. So much blood. Okay, calm down. Calm down, you're doing very well. We'll get through this. Hold on a little longer. There may be more coming. Oh my god, even more? <laughs> yeah, you're right, there's even more. The unbidden rescue. Defend Seamus from the winters. Whoa. Whoa. I see you guys, you think you can hide from me? You can't. Is he dead? He might be dead. Okay. I 
I really need to uh, loot this place. We've got a lot of stuff here. I'm glad you're getting overwhelmed. That is the whole point of why we're here and doing this. It's so that you get overwhelmed and die and I win. There we go. Hopefully. Is that it? A shard never lied. Never coddled. You were worth his time or you were not. They are not the brutes others claim they are. Take me to my father. And I will try again to make him see. Okay. You knew the canary before? It's clear this was not your first encounter with this a shard. I met him soon after their ship foundered. I had run again to escape the keep from my father. A shard was to map the coast, to find an answer for the Arishok. I had so many doubts. Kunari have none. Odd friend to have. I wasn't aware that Kunari take many friends. Perhaps it isn't the right word. I am the Viscount's son, bound by everything that means. A shard did not care. Aww. We were both seeking something. That was enough. Was it? Your father is worried about you, you know. The Viscount is clearly concerned about your safety. The Viscount sends thugs to do a father's job. I was in no danger until his help arrived. You could have told him this was your wish. Keep your assumptions. He doesn't hear me. I'm He's just as tired of being disappointed blood. as I am of bearing it. And now, Ashad is dead. It's not right. Do you want us to bury him? I confess I'm not sure what one does with a dead canary. The body is no longer him, and is worthy of no special treatment. That is, apparently, their way. Should his people be told? They will know. Whether they will deign to acknowledge it, I have no idea. There was much of a shard that I didn't understand, but it was so very worth trying. Okay, well wait here while I look around, okay? We'll leave soon enough, Seamus. Be ready. I am at your whim, Sarah. I need to loot. I need to loot all this stuff. What does that mean? Okay, so I need to talk to him about returning. I don't really want to do that. I mean, I will. It's just... Look around this place and then I might head back. It's just that means that I have to come back as well. Which is a bit of a... Ooh. Okay, so I don't think there's anything this way. Let's have a look around here. Nope. Nothing there. There's a chest over here. And I think I picked up what was ever around this corner, didn't I? Yes, I did. So it's just down here I need to look. Okay, there's a lot there. I am ready to leave. And you have coin to I do. Sure. Let's take you back, okay? Let's go, Seamus. Your father will be waiting in the keep. Then take me to him. I don't know whether you can continue on around here and then he'll be back when you head back, so let's head back now and we will call the episode afterwards. Father. My son. I thought I'd lost you. Enough, father. Uh, allow me to present one Sarah Hawk, Your Excellency. She fulfilled the bounty. You have my gratitude. I hope you encountered no great difficulties on my son's behalf. 
Uh, it was my honor. No, just a few dozen deaths. No, we survived. We managed it. We were it. heavily outnumbered, but I prevailed. I was told the Winters had involved themselves. Was there no way to avoid an incident? They murdered my friend. Where is the concern for that? It was my understanding you were captured alone. Foolishly traipsing about the coast as you do. I was not captured. I was with a shard. The Kunari. They are not monsters to be feared. If you would just try to understand, others would see as okay. well. Better that you were thought abducted. I need to, I need to look at me again. In my own family. Benign or not, it's too much. I, I've got the same eyes as they do, the eye colour. <laughs> me thinks that maybe uh, maybe my mother's mother, my mother's father was not my actual father. <laughs> maybe my gramps is not actually uh, you know, my biological blood biological grandfather. Uh are you in yeah, I'm, I'm not getting involved in this. Just give me my money and you can argue to your heart's content. Forgive me, this is a private concern of yours. Your actions are appreciated. The Seneschal will see you out. Sorry, Seamus, but you were a bit of an idiot, so you can take your scolding with pride. Is pride the word I'm looking for? It's not. I only got five gold to save your son. You are a fucking cheapskate. I got nine gold for breaking into my house. I mean, I didn't break in. I didn't. I didn't, you know. But you get what I mean, right? Why is there a, um... Good day, Sarah. Good day, Sarah. Is, is that... an elf, or is that not an elf? Is it just the shape of the hat, or is it the shape of the ears? I do not know. Hey, Bran. Your help was appreciated. But that relationship is concluded. Thank you for not entirely offending Miss Otis. Well, aren't you sweet? Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching me play, consider subscribing using the button to the right. And if you want to watch more, click one of the videos to the left. See you in the next episode. Bye.